Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be going through one of the most important application of operational amplifiers. There are totally five different applications guys. We will be going through one after them slowly. In each tutorial, we will be going through one application. Okay. Basically, inverting amplifier is an application for operational amplifier. Guys, remember, I will be repeating the same points again and again in every application guys. Because we will be observing the same circuit diagram with some at least one or two points repeated again and again in the same type okay so now let us go through the first application that is inverting amplifier so basically inverting I have told you that if you give this input you're gonna get the inverted one like this that will be your output right guys so the circuit will be like this so we are giving an inverting right so I have told you that the upper one which is which we give with negative sign is an inverting terminal. So inverting amplifier means we will be taking only that terminal and the non-inverting terminal will be grounding it so that I hope now the diagram is clear. And I have told you that feedback comes into play in applications right. So here is a feedback to the non-inverting terminal sorry inverting terminal guys that's the only left out terminal so we gave it to that. So we will be assuming that the starting is Vs the output is V0 and I1 is the current flowing here, I2 is the current flowing here, this is R1, this is R2 and let us assume the feedback is given to this point X. Okay guys, so now I hope everyone is now 100% clear with the diagram guys, I have explained you clearly. I hope everyone is now clear. So now let us go through some points. So when a signal source Vs is applied to the inverting input terminal and input current I starts flowing into the operational amplifier. However, since the input impedance of the operational amplifier is infinity, right? So it tries to travel in this path, guys. It will come here. It goes there. So it finds that's infinity and that's houseful. Something like when you go to theater. Okay, this is the theater. The houseful is the houseful board is kept outside. So you'll be coming back and you'll be searching for some other theater and you found a theater here. Like that, let us assume. So the current starts here. It's already infinity. So it travels in this path, guys. Okay. So it follows into the operational amplifier, however since the input impedance of the operational amplifier is infinity, hence the current flows, will not flow into the amplifier, it flows through the output loop, through R2 to the output, so it travels in this path. Okay guys, so now I hope everyone is now clear with it. So I hope everyone is good at BEE, we have covered this in our basic Electronics guys in second sem I think so yeah in second sem BEE subject okay so basically we will be writing the equation of I1 and I2 okay I hope everyone knows this formula V is equals to I R R I is equals to V by R so V is nothing but change in voltages and resistance so I1 I1 is in between Vs and Vx let us assume that the voltage here is Vx so let us assume that Vs is greater so Vs minus Vx it's moving like this right so Vs minus Vx by R1 will be the I1 I2 will be nothing but Vx minus V0 by R2. So that's how we got these two equations guys. So now I hope everyone is now clear with those equations. So we'll be assuming that Vx is the voltage at this point. So that's the reason why we got these equations. So further moving on, we will be applying KCL at X guys. What is KCL guys? KCL is nothing but the number of currents entering a point is equals to number of current leaving that point. That's nothing but the number of current total is equals to entering must be equals to leaving. So here entering will be I1 so it should be equal to I2 that's the leaving current. So I1 is equals to I2. So that's what I have just substituted here so I got this. Okay guys now I hope everyone is now clear with this equation. So let us assume that at node X due to virtual ground dx is equals to 0 guys. So here comes the virtual ground concept guys. I have told you that virtual ground is an important topic. So we got the virtual ground here. So that is nothing but we, we can change this Vx equal to 0, Vx equal to 0. So we got this equation. Vs by R1 is equal to minus V0 by R2. Okay. Making V's term voltages one side and the resistance one side. V0 by Vs is equal to minus R2 by R1. Thus AV is equal to output by input. Right. So output by input is equal to negative of output resistance by input resistance. So if you observe cleanly, this negative sign indicates the 180 degrees phase shift guys. So the negative sign indicates the output is 180 degrees out pace with the input. So sorry input. So now I hope everyone got 100% clear idea on 
inverting amplifier hence it is called as an inverting amplifier okay guys so now i hope everyone is now 100% clear guys because i have explained you really really clearly so in the next tutorial let's go through non inverting term terminal thank you thanks for watching